And let's look at our two U.S. Senators, if they're still sitting behind me. I can't see. I think one of them may have left. The junior is Senator out of town. The senior is Senator out of touch and out of time. One is a self-certified ophthalmologist. The other one on the ballot this fall is a self-certified obstructionist. Satisfied to simply say no when the people of his state need him. But we have a senator who went to Washington 30 years ago. And since then, he has gone Washington in every sense of the word. This do-nothing senator looks young people in the eye who's straddled with student loan debt and struggling to find a job, and he says no to reforms that would help lift them out of that debt. This do-nothing senator looks at families struggling to get by in a tough economy, and he says no to an increase in the minimum wage. And this do-nothing senator looks women of the state in the eye and says no to equal pay for equal work. And most callously, this do-nothing senator recently went to southeastern Kentucky and told the people there it was not his job to create jobs. So if this were my front porch and the crowd that showed up is what was on my porch, I would say I'm not buying what they're selling. It's pretty clear that in Mitch McConnell we've got a guy who thinks he was born in a log cabin. And it's pretty clear that in Rand Paul we've got a candidate who believes that he was born in a manger. I'm not buying what they're selling. How many of you noticed today that Mitch McConnell and Rand Paul listened politely to each other and then left together? Kind of makes you wish that Rand Paul were on the ballot this year so they could leave the Senate together.